Welcome back to theCUBE. We are live at Peer Storage Accelerate 2018. I'm Lisa Martin with Dave Vellante. We are here in San Francisco at the Bill Graham Civic Auditorium, which is why we're sporting some concert t-shirts. The Who. <laughs> the Who and the Klong. Roger. I really view technology as being a three-legged stool. Compute, networking, and storage. And storage didn't keep up at the same time that data was exploding. We spent a good chunk of time troubleshooting issues directly related to storage before, whether it was storage creep, where we had too much data versus the capacity of the array, or the input-output problems in terms of I.O., latency, those types of issues. We don't see any of that anymore. Pure has always said, we're going to make Flash cheaper than or as cheap as spinning disk, and we're going to drive performance, and we're going to differentiate from the market, and we're going to be first. Right now, only about a half of 1% of the data that companies have can even be analyzed because it's being kept in cold storage. And at Pure, we believe in no cold storage. You know, it's all got to be hot, it's all got to be available, able to be analyzed, able to be mined. And they talked about going all in on shared accelerated storage. It's going to be multi-cloud, and so we wanted to provide an architecture and a platform that removed the trade-offs and the bottlenecks, while also being open and allowing customers to take advantage of container technologies and platform as a service technology. As a CIO, I would imagine you don't want to wake up every day and think about storage, all, with all due respect to our friends at, at Pure. Storage should be self-driving, infrastructure should be self-driving. These are not things that you know, in a boardroom people care about. What they care about is how can they can change their business and have a competitive advantage. One of the things that really impresses me is their focus on sharing. Multiple workloads in one place. We get a lot of virtual servers running on, you know, relatively small amount of storage. We went from 40U of old school spinning disk, lots of complexity in cabling, administration, down to two, three U M20 arrays. They're more heat tolerant, I have two power cables in each and two network cables, so complexity is gone. They're providing the pickaxes and the shovels and the basic tools, but the real challenges of AI are where do I apply it? How do I infuse it into applications? How do I get ROI in that? How do I actually have a data model where I can apply machine intelligence? If you understand the way machine learning operates, it has to practice on tens of thousands of millions of samples. It could take all year, or it can take hours, and what you want it to do is take minutes or hours. Those things will start to identify patterns in genomic sequences that humans aren't, you know, finding with their typical approaches. Our genomic platform is built up to the point where they have enough sequences in them to do that sort of analysis, and you need, you know, big compute, fast storage to do that kind of thing. You can add capacity and, and upgrade your software and move to the next generation, non-disruptively. Why is this a big deal? For decades, you would have to actually shut down you know, the storage array, have planned downtime to do an upgrade. So Pure solved that problem with its evergreen model and its software capability. Every three years, they swap out your controller as part of your support and maintenance agreement, which is you know, huge for us because we don't have a lot of money. We have budget is very small for IT. The evergreen model was brilliant for us, but simplicity was critical. I can't just keep adding staff to look after a new technology. It needs to look after itself. No uplifts on pricing for NVMe, so everybody's going to follow that. The evergreen model, they can do these things and claim these things as we were first. Of course, we know, David Foley, you were first to make the call back in 2008 <laughs> uh, on Flash and the All Flash Data Center, but, but Pure was right there with you. We've always wanted to be the pioneers. You know, we always wanted to be the innovators. We always wanted to challenge convention. The other piece that they've done really well is marketing, and marketing is how companies differentiate today. You've seen the sea of orange that's here. It's a bit infectious. People are become dedicated you know, not to an entity, they become a dedicated to a cause. Enabling so many, 4,800 plus customers globally to really transform their businesses. And that's one of the things that I think is cool about this event is not just the plethora of orange everywhere, but the pride and the value of what they're delivering to their customers. Congratulations. Well, thank you, we're just getting started and we really appreciate all the work you guys do, so thanks for being here. Thanks so much, Dave, for joining me all day. The who to my awesome. prince symbol. <laughs> <laughs> David, thanks for joining us in the wrap. Yeah. We appreciate you watching the Cube from Pure Storage Accelerate 2018. I'm Lisa Martin for Dave and David. Thanks for watching.